Hi everyone, welcome back, it's Molly AK, Swedish Whiskey Girl, and today I'm going to make a hot toddy because I am a little bit unwell, I have a bit of a cold, don't think it's the coronavirus, um, hopefully, but I'll stay inside just to be safe, but yes, all I need today is a hot toddy. So we're making this uh, because honey is good for you and if you get the option choose maybe something local, this is Scottish honey, um, so you can support a smaller company perhaps and you get better quality as well. I'm going to use the honey, I'm going to use the lemon juice I have here. I have chosen one of my favourite whiskies, the Black Bottle 10, which has been finished in rum casks. This is so yummy, sweet, and I'm thinking this rum note will go well with my tea because I will also use the tea in it. This is mango passion fruit white tea from Love, uh, from Kusmi Teas. I bought this when I was in Paris. And yes, I am not sure I'll be able to nose any whiskies today because I am a little bit blocked up. So I thought we'll make a hot lemon. What's it called? A hot toddy. <laughs> you see, I'm nosing it. I just need bed probably today. But yes, um, oh my brain doesn't really work. I haven't really done this before with measurements, but I will try my best to do it. I don't always do it this way. I kind of just go for wherever I feel like. That's what's so nice about hot toddy. You can kind of choose what you want to keep in it. You can, I really, really like to use the Ikea Lingonberry Cordial in it as well, but I haven't been able to go to Ikea for a year. Uh, so I haven't been able to stock up and mine's long gone. <laughs> um, but if you do use something sweet, like a Cordial or something, just think about that it might not always go with the flavor of the honey, is what I find. And then you can experiment with all the tea in the world. Um, so yes, I am gonna brew a cup of tea first of all, and then add the other ingredients. This tea is almost out, but this is, you can still smell a little bit of it. So it's um, a white tea, and it's one of my favourites. need to buy some new soon. And of course, I've already prepared my tea water. Sorry if I seem a bit sniffly today. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a word. But yes, we will let this brew for a little bit. Just get it nice and infused. And this is one of my favorite honeys. It's just like a hot toddy is basically a hot drink where you just take all the flavors you like and you put them together. So we will put, let's disinfuse for about maybe usually about two three minutes and I will use I really like a lot of lemon so I'm gonna use let's see what's this 25 so one and a half of the 25 mils of lemon juice it's gonna be very sour <laughs> um, Hopefully this will work. And then we are gonna use, I mean, a nice teaspoon of honey. Get that to kinda drop off. Mm. And of course, the start of the show. My dad always says, when I am ill and I call my dad, or I message my dad and I'm like, I'm ill, what can I do? He always says, we'll have a drama whiskey. So that's what we're gonna do. And just a measure of that. This is 25. Yeah, I think so. Oh, this is, this is my feel good whiskey. <laughs> Does that sound bad? <laughs> um, this has this kind of lovely rum note, like sweet vanilla molasses pineapple cake, which is why I thought the rum note and the mango note, passion fruit and the tea might be nice together. This is my tea stack behind me. Uh, but I will use one of these. And tea leaves. 
We'll give it a nice little stir. The lemon note that you get from this with the tea smells lovely. So nice. Also that whiskey coming through. The whiskey, I think this is a good choice, a match. You could also do it with peated whiskey and maybe a lapse on so strong if you want like a real big smoke kick. Uh, I was feeling, I'm feeling a little bit, what's it called? What is the word I'm looking for? Fragile <laughs> today. So I will want something that is easy going, sweet and like a little pat on the cheek. That's what I want today. I wonder if this is going to be hot, too hot, but I'll, I'll give it a taste. It smells lovely of this kind of mango note. A little bit of that rummy whiskey note and then the lemon is what I'm getting on the nose. But I'm, I, I am actually clearing up a little bit by nosing this, so it's already working, guys. <laughs> it's very hot, I'm not going to lie. but very yummy. Those measurements, I'm not gonna change anything. I was like thinking I might want to add a little bit more of honey. Sometimes the honey hides in the bottom of the glass, so we'll see. But I think that's exactly what I needed today. And let me know your hot toddy recipes. Have you tried mine? If you do, please let me know. Or let me know your favorite whiskey and tea pairings for a hot toddy. Or maybe you have any recommendations recommendations for nice honey. I, I love honey and I think it's fascinating with the honey production and everything. Um, if you've watched the channel before, you might already know that I'm a bit nerdy. And I love getting nerdy about things like this. So please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will be back with a whiskey review in a few days because hopefully I'll feel better. And I hope you've enjoyed making a hot toddy today. But I hope you've all had an absolutely wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Slangeva, Scott. Actually, before we say goodbye, I am gonna get super ready because a hot toddy when you're ill is nothing without my favorite thing to wear when I'm ill. I'll be right back. This here is my blanket and hoodie in one. I got it for Christmas from my boyfriend's, or from Cody, you know him already, Cody's little sister. He also got one. And now I am all sorted for a day on the sofa or in bed. I'll see you in a few days. Slendervar. Skål!